and let's animate our tasks. And first, I want the columns are falling from the sky to this process. So we have to go to the columns button and choose columns to add new one. And here we can see the some columns we can add, like user properties and some special properties. Let's take this one animation and press OK. Now we have it and let's Let's go to this place and here we can add the animation. And first, let's go to columns and add one of our animations from our previous trainings. Animation set 1. And let's go to simulate. And let's play it. Now we're going to observe it. Yeah, now it's really falling from the sky. Okay. And it's pretty simple. So for every task, we can add the special animation. For columns, columns, for slabs, slabs, for wall, walls. So we have to make as around a set of animations and then set precise animation to precise the tasks. It's pretty simple. But what about the grain? We want the crane to move and to do some special stuff. And we do not have the objects like crane in this area. So we have to make the special task for it. Let's add task and name it crane. Crane is going to move and do some, some things. Yeah, and the start one is going to be the 12. So it's not the first, the first part. And it's going to finish about 26. 26, so not the final one. And we should, yeah, just we should add the animation. Let's choose a grain and it will move, rotate, and it color, and it will not scale because the scale animation is not active now in animator. Okay. And now we need to add objects. So it's pretty simple. Take the model, press right button and attach current set. Attach current selection. Now it's OK. But now what about task type? If we try construct it will be green in the end and it will disappear or not. No, it will not disappear. It will be like a model, model one. Like, a, like any kind of element of model, but we want the crane to disappear in one moment, it's the 26th of August. So let's go to configure, and I've already done the B1, and let's make, another. let's make it again, add, let's name it crane, and we want in the start of appearance, not the green one, we want the the crane is not going to be construct, it's a kind of machine, it should be like a model from scratch. Okay, so let's choose a model appearance. But in the end of end appearance, I want it to disappear, so let's hide it. Okay, and now go back to tasks. And task time for the crane is crane, which we've just done. Crane. Okay, so we have a crane now. And let's go back to simulate part. Okay, and let's pick it up. Pick this one, this one. Okay, let's go to simulate and activate it. And now crane is moving, is doing his business. And as next, the columns are going to fall from the sky here. Yeah, now they're falling and crane is dancing, it's always okay. But now we can add not only one animation to the task, and we can add animation like crane to like a, like a separate task. But we also can add animation to all the scene during our process. So let's go to settings of the simulate. And here we can add 
other kind of animation, the, cam the animation of the viewpoint of the camera. And let's choose 2 in 1. This is about the animation with the special, special point and the special movement of the camera. Now it's OK. And we are in the start position of this animation. And now we have one animation, the grand second animation to the columns and the third animation to the all scene. And let's play it. And now as you can see everything is moving. The grand is working. And the columns are going to the fall from sky. And so when you know three of these types of animation and how you can edit, you can make any kind of animation of your construction process with your building.